Hey, it's Fred Carpenter talking to you today from Nashville, Tennessee, and we are going to talk about how to choose a violin for a child. Okay, for uh, materials needed in choosing a child's violin, obviously a selection of instruments and a yardstick. Okay, step one in choosing a child's violin is to decide, are you going to rent or buy? If it's a brand new player, we recommend renting a lot. Um, if it doesn't work out, then you didn't buy something you're not going to keep. Um, if you're going to fit a child who's been playing for a few years to a violin, you probably already own. You'll need to trade up and buy the next size up. Step two, uh, you need to size your child for the violin. A couple different methods that we use. One is with the yardstick down the arm, straight down from the side of your neck, right down the arm to the middle of the palm. Uh, measure the, to the mid palm. And on this, which is a, a customized yardstick, it actually gives you 16th, 10th, 8th, quarter, half, three quarters, and full size, all the increments of measure for the violins. If you choose the right size, another way that we look at it is with the arm extended completely out, when the fingers come around the scroll, they should be able to come around the top. If the fingers don't reach the top, if they're like this, you need to go to the next smaller size of instrument. You want to get those fingers to be able to wrap around that scroll. Okay, so step three in choosing a child's violin. Now we've decided whether we're renting or buying. We've already figured out what size they need. Now we get into the skill level. How long has the child been playing? If it's a brand new player at 10 years old, they just need the entry level instrument. If it's a 10 year old that's been playing for five years already, they'll be able to get more out of an instrument that is, is more valuable and it's just a better sounding instrument. So that's obviously a choice that, you know, budget restraints have a big factor there anyway. So whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you think the child needs at that playing level. This is Fred Carpenter from The Violin Shop in Nashville, Tennessee, and that's some hopefully helpful information on how to choose a child's violin.